Hello everyone, you're welcome to this week's edition of the Ultimate Money Show. My name is Loade Akim Relik, Deputy Editor, and today we'll be talking about um, what retail investors should look out for in MTN's share sale next week. I mean, the share sale actually started this week, 575 million shares on offer, but uh, only 10% of that was sold to institutional investors this week. And uh, my sources tell me that it was oversubscribed because it closed today, being Friday. Um, it was oversubscribed and then bids came in at about 160 to 170 naira per share. I'm not surprised that MTN shares are actually oversubscribed and that's why I'm here to tell you retail investors who might be looking to grow your wealth, double your money, looking out for the right stocks that you can put your money in that can really make the right returns for you to take a look at MTN when the offer does come to the market next week. And I'll tell you, I mean, it's pretty straightforward to see why MTN is a good stock to own. And first really is MTN is one of the trillion naira revenue companies in Nigeria. It's not an easy fit. Even last year in 2020, I amid mean, the pandemic when businesses were upended really by the uh, rampaging impact of, of COVID-19, MTN still held its own, um, just like some other telecommunication companies as well, and declared revenues of 1.3 trillion naira. Yeah, so you know they eclipsed the trillion naira mark. And guess what? I mean, 2021 is here. Just in the first nine months, MTN has already reported revenues of 1.2 trillion naira, which means they are just about 844 billion naira away from totaling um, the, the equaling the total of, of last year. And that's instructive to note that it's it's on an average this year, MTN has reported 340 billion naira in revenues every quarter. So if if they were just to you know equal that or match that uh, in the fourth quarter of the year, then for sure um, it's it's, it's just a no-brainer that they will again um, post record revenues this year, even higher than last year's uh, 1.3 trillion naira. And not, not to forget that uh, the MTN CEO, I, I think it was sometime on Tuesday uh, during the investor call when the offer was launched, um, said that in the fourth quarter they expect their subscriber base to turn positive for the first time in about six quarters. You know, it's been negative, it's been declining because of some headwinds from the SIM card registration to the NIN linkage and all of that. But the CEO does expect that by the fourth quarter, subscriber numbers would have turned positive, which means that that would also bode well for revenues. And of course, we know that MTN just got uh, an approval in principle from the central bank to operate a payment service bank. So that, of course, means that they have an additional revenue stream that would definitely um, augment their revenues and you know, lead to higher profitability. So, I mean, I know it's important to stress that it's an approval in principle, so it's not done yet. MTN, MTN still has a few um, hurdles to scale before they do uh, eventually get the PSB license, but when they eventually do get it, you know that it's going to be positive to revenues. So that's one, I mean, that's, it, the reasons are compelling uh, for why a retail investor should look at MTN. And you know that at this uh, share sale, I hear that they will be offered at discounted rates because, uh, I mean, if, if they're not discounted, why don't I just go to the market and just buy? MTN is currently trading at around uh, 190 naira, you know, having uh, cooled down a bit from the peak it attained of 200 just after the announcement of the PSB uh, license. So, retail investors, if you're out there, I want advice for you. Take a look at MTN if you want to invest in the stock market. You're thinking, what stocks can I put my money in? MTN, sure, sure bet. But of course, you can't take all of us, all of what I have said. Um, in isolation, you should still speak to an investment advisor or someone who is a professional who can talk to you about um, really what the numbers say about why MTN is a compelling stock. But if I do say so myself, it is a compelling stock that would reward you if you do invest in it. For more market intelligence, don't forget to visit our website www.businessday.ng and subscribe. Thank you very much and see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.